And good evening, I'm Paul Martino. A racist video posted by an IUP, IUP student has gone viral, and it's angered many tonight on campus. The student rants about African-American students and uses racial slurs. But tonight, he is distancing himself from those remarks. Bob Allen joins us now. He's got the reaction from the school administration. Good evening, Bob. Paul, the words spoken in the video are so repulsive, we can't allow them to be heard on the air. Meanwhile, the university, university says it can't be tolerated, and they hope to unite students in a positive way. This video of an Indiana University of Pennsylvania student was seen and heard on social media. For reasons unknown, he went on a racist rant using hate speech against African-American students. He used a variety of racial slurs and even threatened violence. We spoke with Dr. Thomas Seeger, president of Student Affairs at IUP. I know I joined the IUP community in that uh, we all have no desire to condone or to endorse any acts of um, discrimination, any, any sounds of disharmony that speak to uh, racism or discrimination. Dr. Seeger says it's time for those in the student body who favor inclusion to be heard. For every voice, every single voice that espouses these kind of messages, there's an entire chorus of voices that want to be heard and that want to speak out against these kind of incidents. In the meantime, a petition with more than a thousand signatures has been circulated online. It's calling for the student who made the remarks to be expelled from the university. I think any college campus has, has just like IUP, has a student code of conduct and we have policies that guide our actions. And so those certainly take precedence over a particular petition. Meanwhile, we reached out via email to the student who made the remarks. We won't use his name. But he responded, claiming, quote, I was extremely intoxicated and possibly roofied. I know it's no excuse, but that's the only justifiable reason I have for saying what I did. I hope that he would reflect on his words and understand the harm his words have caused uh, his fellow students. Invited to meet with the faculty and administration, Dr. Seeger says they want to hear what students want and they also want to empower them to speak their minds. Reporting live, Bob Allen, KDKA News.